So what is ZU in case of normal distribution? Here answer for it. The 100 into US percentile of a standard normal distribution. is denoted by ZU. Now you know what is standard normal distribution. Standard normal distribution means a distribution with mean of zero and variance of one. So that is that the distribution is called standard normal distribution. And the 100 into US percentile of a standard normal distribution is denoted by the term ZU. Uh, it is defined by the relationship. It is defined by the relationship. probability z less than z u equal to u where z is normally distributed in 0 1 now this is how we write normal distribution so it okay z in 0 1 that means it is standard normal distribution and this term probability z less than z u is equal to 1 if j is normally distributed, then it is known as the 100 percent, 100 into your percentile of the standard normal distribution. Uh, graphically represent your equally, how does it look? If this is a normal distribution part, then this is your mean, or this is your mean or mu equal to zero then this will be your z u if this is z u then this is the area represented by this is the area represented by this this area is u this area is total is u. This area is equal to u. Moreover, also the function z u is sometimes referred as the inverse of normal function or inverse normal function. The term J U also referred as inverse normal function. So just keep a note of this. What is the value of Z 0.3? What is the value of Z 0.3? Suppose this is a question. What is the value of Z 0.3? How do we answer this kind of question? Or suppose you have to find out compute z0.3. So you have to take the help of standard normal table. Now I have to open the standard normal table first. So you need to have the standard normal table with you. And the question is to find out z0.3, that is the inverse normal function. So here we will just find out the value. 0 0.3, where for which value of z we can attempt 0 0.3. And we can find out that a value of minus 0 0.3 minus 0 0.52, it is the nearest value of z with 0 0.30. If z is equal to minus 0 0.52. Here we achieve z 0 0.3. So now we can go to our board and we may write the value here as for answer. Phi 0 
minus 0 0.52 is equal to 0 0.3. So, Z 0 0.3, Z underscore 0 0.3, Z underscore 0 0.3 is equal to Z underscore 0 0.3 is equal to minus 0 0.52. This is how you answer. What is the area to the left of minus 0 0.3 under uh, standard normal distribution? Equal the second part is available. What symbol is used to represent that area? How do you answer this? As we have the standard normal distribution with us. Now, this is our mean and say this is say this is plus one and the similar kind of area in this side also say mean was at the bottom so this say this is minus one and this is plus one so this is how it looks so this area basically is pi of this area is pi of minus one so the, what is the area to the left of point zero three now this is clear to you uh, sorry this is what symbol is used the symbol used is pi of the symbol is pi of minus zero point three so this will be the this will be the answer if some um, any value is given pi of zero point three the symbol so obviously this this is phi of plus one. This is phi of plus one. Now of minus x is actually one minus phi of x. So total then phi of minus x plus phi of x is equal to one. This value plus this value will add to 1. So, phi of minus x is equal to 1 minus phi x. That is the, that is how you compute this thing. So, now to answer this, what is the area left to phi of 0 point, minus 0 0.3? Basically, we need phi of minus 0 0.3 is equal to 1 minus phi of 0 0.3. Now, what is the value of phi 0 0.3? Again, we have to go to the Excel file. So here you can find 0 0.3 value. So phi of 0 0.3 is 0 0.61. So we can go to here. It is actually now 0 point equal to 1 minus 0 0.61 is equal to 0 0.39. This is how you get. Now you may wonder whether can I find this value at once, phi of minus 0 0.3. You can do that. Again, if you just look at the Excel file and you find the phi of minus 0 0.3, this is 0 0.382, which is very close to the value that we have discovered here. So at one step also, you can find out the value of phi of minus 0 0.3 by this table. This is 0 0.382, very close to 0 0.39. So the two values will be very close. Now, same function. Uh, for the same question, I have written p norm in R. R uh, you know that the function that we use is p norm function. So here, p norm, the value is equal to q 0 0.3, right? And mean is equal to 0, standard deviation is equal to 1. For a standard normal distribution, you always have to write, for a standard normal distribution, you always have to write this. p norm, q is equal to 0 0.3, mean is equal to standard, uh, 0 and sg is equal to 1. This is for any standard normal distribution.
you always need to write mean is equal to 0 and sd is equal to 1. So, this is how we find out p norm is equal to this. Now, if you just want to find out by the first formula that we had is equal to 1 minus 1 minus this value p norm. So, you can just write this 1 minus this, we will find out the same answer 0 0.3802. Otherwise, you can use straight away, you can use this formula p norm is equal to cube of 0 minus 0 0.3, the same mean is equal to 0 and standard deviation is equal to 1. You will find the same answer.